Hey guys, this is Aaron from Geeky Lemon Development and welcome to our weekly Tuesday tutorial. Now this week I'll be showing you how to add iAd into your project and I'll be showing you how to code it the Apple approved way. So already I have my project set up. I have simply named it Adding iAd and it's a view based application for the iPhone and I am using the new Xcode 4. So the first thing you need to do is add the iAd framework and by doing that we simply go to our build phases click on link Rhino with libraries then click on the plus sign and this will bring up all our frameworks and we just type in iAd and it should bring up the iAd framework here simply click on it and press add ok then so now we need to add in our IB outlet so we go straight to our adding iAd view controller.h and first we will import our iAd so type in import space the arrow pointing to the left iAd bracket and again iAd dot h and the opposite pointing arrow and now we're adding our add banner view so we type in add banner view space asterisk star and we name the banner simply banner easy to understand and now we're adding our property and by that we do at property space bracket anatomic space oh, comma space assign bracket Ball, space and this will be banner is visible and, and that array semicolon and press enter and we're going to want the exactly the same again so we type in at property space bracket anatomic comma space but this time we type in retain bracket and now we do our IB outlet of the add banner, which will be IB outlet space add banner view space asterisk star banner. And that with a semicolon, and we can save that. Now we go to our view controller dot n, and just after the implementation, just press enter a few times so you got so it's a bit easier to see. And just under the implementation, we need to synthesize our banner. And by doing that, we type in at symbol, synthesize, and in the highlighted property, we type in our banner, which we named banner, comma, space, banner is visible. And that was semicolon. And now we can press enter. And first, we're going to do the coding for when our banner does load and for it to show ads. So we type in our first void to so dash bracket void bracket now banner view did load add we need to type him so banner view did load add there we go and after the two dots type in bracket then add banner view space asterisk star bracket then a banner space and just after that we do our curly bracket and we press enter now for our first statement so we type in if bracket exclamation mark self dot banner is visible bracket space another curly bracket press enter and bracket again UI view space begin animation and in the NS string we do the at symbol quotation mark animated add banner on and that with a quotation mark and in the void of the context we just type in no we can end that with a bracket in a semicolon we press enter and we type in 
banner. Not banner visible. Banner dot frame space equals space capital C G rect. Now this one needs to be the offset. So we type in C G rect capital O for off. Offset, there we go. And in the first highlighted section, we need to type in banner dot frame. And in the second highlighted section, we need to put 0, 0.0. And in the second one, 50.0. This will assume that your banner is currently at the top of your application. And after that bracket there, we do a semicolon and press enter. And now bracket, capital UI view again, space, commit, animations, bracket, semicolon, press enter, then self, dot, banner is visible, space equals, space, yes, and that erase semicolon. So that's all the coding that's needed to show ads when the banner does load up providing you have a good internet connection at the time. Now for the coding when the banner does fail to load for it not to show any ads or if there's no ads currently available to show it won't show you a blank white box. And to do that we type in our second void. So bracket void bracket banner view two little dots bracket, add banner, view, space, asterisk star, bracket, then a banner, and did fail to receive, add with error, and then just after that, put space and the little curly bracket and press enter. Now the code is almost ex exactly identical, so we can simply copy and paste it just to save time. So you need to copy it from the last curly bracket but one all the way up to the if. Simply copy and after the first curly bracket on the second piece of coding, just press enter and paste it. And what we need to change is here, animated add banner on to off. And then we need to change it minus 320. As it will assume that your ad banner is at the top when it's not animated. And then finally, a banner is visible. We need to change this to no. Now we can simply save that. That's all the coding that's there. I'll just zoom in so if you want to catch up on any of the coding, it's all there for you. But now I'll go straight into our adding view controller dot nib. Add, I add view controller, sorry. Just wait for this to load up. So to get all our objects up, we need to click on the square at the top with the grey shaded rectangle to the right. This will bring up our utilities. And we just look for our I add view. There we go, add banner view. Place it at the top, and we click on Files Owner, and link the banner in the outlets all the way to the Add Banner view, and we can simply save that, go straight to Build and Run, and like usual, there is no problems with my tutorials, there will be no errors or anything like that, but if it is, it's easy to correct. So Build succeeded, as usual. So just wait for it to load now. So this is a great feature if you've got some free apps out and you want to generate some extra revenue. It's a brilliant way. And so depending on your internet connection now, this takes a while for it to load up. Once it does, there we go, test advertising. And we can simply click on that and interact with it. There we go, just loading up there. This confirms that tests are running correctly. Now the second important part to this tutorial when you are creating the app in your iTunes Connect, make sure you enable iAds for them to show up in your application once Apple have approved it. So that's it for this tutorial. I hope it helps you in any of your projects or 
apps at the moment. Make sure you follow me and like me on Facebook and Twitter. All the links will be in the description, as well as the links to some of my apps currently on the App Store. Make sure you favourite and like this video so you have it for future reference. And most importantly, if you're not subscribed to me yet, make sure you do. But well, that's it today, and I'll see you all next week in the next tutorial.